Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Tyler. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're here, here with Abandon Ontario. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. People always ask us, how do you find these houses? So today we're going to be giving you our top 10 tips and tricks for urban exploration. Tip number one, what's in your bag? Having a well-packed bag is essential for any type of exploring. You never know what you're going to run into when you're at any of these houses. So the first thing we pack, gloves. Try and pack kind of a pair that you don't really care about too much because you never really know what you're going to end up packing. Number two, bring some masks. So masks are an important part of exploration because you never know what kind of diseases and sickness are out in these places that we're investigating. As we're walking around you can kick up the dust and things become airborne like hantavirus, which we've recently become well aware of. There's also always lots of feces and mold. So masks, needless to say, are pretty essential. Number three, we always bring a flashlight. Never know when you're gonna run out of light. True, true. So last but not least, you need some way of defending yourself. If you're out there and you run into a vagrant or an aggressive animal, you want a non-lethal way of defending yourself. So we have some pepper spray. If you don't have pepper spray, I would recommend carrying a large stick with you. God forbid you ever need to use it. It's just for safety. Tip number two, how to find good locations. Keep your eyes peeled. As you're driving around, not all structures may be completely visible. So look through the trees and you may just see a root peeking through the top. Keep your eyes peeled. Drive down the back roads that you typically wouldn't go down. Look for old house number signs with no visible house near them or old overgrown driveways. Do your research. Most artists don't like when people just generally come out and post a location, but if you search through the hashtags, look for countries or towns that are nearby, you just may be able to find out where it is. Build up your reputation in the urbex community by sharing your work. Another artist might be intrigued by your findings and actually ask you for a location swap, but be careful doing this. Make sure you check out their profile, talk to them a little bit, make sure they're trustworthy before you actually go through with the location swap. Safety first. Part three, safety tips. Bring a friend with you or let someone know where you're going just in case something bad does happen. Watch out for neighbors. If you see someone approaching you, go up and speak with them about what you're doing. You'll find in most cases that people are generally very receptive and you may perhaps get a little backstory on, on the property. For all you know, this could be the owner and if you don't speak with them, they could call the police on you. Make some type of noise on your way in. If there's a squatter or an animal in there, they will hear you and you'll hear them and you'll be able to exit safely before getting too far inside. Check the floors as you walk around. Press gently with a large stick or your foot as you walk to ensure that the floors are stable enough to actually hold your weight. You wouldn't want to fall through and end up in the basement. What would you? Check the roof and the second floor before you actually go upstairs. Don't get too cocky when you're inside. If the roof or the second floor seem a little bit soft and unstable, maybe avoid going up there. So, these are just some of our top tricks and tips to help get you started with urban exploration. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and have your notifications turned on so you don't miss our next live stream and video inside a surprise abandoned location. If you'd like, why don't you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Smash that like button! And you can follow Abandoned.Ontario on Instagram to see all of Sarah's amazing photography updates. If you need links to any of our social media, they're all at the top of our YouTube page. Until next time, I'm Sarah. And I'm Tyler. Which brings me to my next point. Always bring a cheeseburger. This is a very good point, Sarah. I would also like to bring up that squatters are not as dangerous as they may seem. Although they are a misunderstood breed of character, they are not always detrimentally dangerous to your health. Sometimes all they need to touch is And they will swiftly go away. I once knew a guy that lived in the vacant house. So today, today we're going to be going over our top 10 tips for... 
never go wrong. You will get chlamydia. 